Hello Magicians and welcome back to Soul Horoscope's weekly update. From my webcam to yours, I'm Christopher Otecki, your host to the universe. I'm also the host of the first annual Miss Lilith Costume Contest. This is a catwalk contest for all of our females and males if you want to participate. Lilith is an asteroid in an astrological chart that represents repressed rage and anger. Perfect Halloween costume. Perfect kind of healthy thing for us to do. So if you want to participate, all you got to do is dress up as your love and send in your video. We have instructions on the site. Now, if you think this is sexist, I got one thing for you. I will be hosting on Halloween shirtless uh, uh, reporting to the witch doctor. I know. We're going to play in our inner child. So if you want to know more, come on down the site. We will uh, be releasing more information. And as we like to say, may the Beth Lilith win. That's right. That was so hard to learn, by the way. Now for the Pisces, everything is kind of shaky. We're in a transition between two major lessons, wrapping up three years of Pisces working on trust, intimacy, boundaries. That is death, that is sex, that is intimacy, that is uh, being able to transform yourself, being willing to transform yourself, maintaining boundaries, stopping something, starting something, stopping alcohol, starting uh, to be healthy. You know, a lot of hard stuff, I think. And we're going to end that final test the next three days, and then boom, we're right into the next lesson, which is your belief structure and how you, uh, what you believe in life is most important, which has a huge aspect to everything we do on the planet. So we overlap on Sunday. We are an earthly rule day. Mother Earth rules a day. We're holding space, and you're holding space for those boundaries you work for three years to implement. The moon in Capricorn puts emotions on your social life, so probably a social day on Sunday. One thing I do want to point out is that the sun is conjuncting Saturn already in Scorpio, which means as you graduate trust, intimacy, boundaries, Saturn is already getting serious about your beliefs, particularly the beliefs around love. So beliefs around love are in the way or not in the way as we start the week. Just want to put that into your RAM. Uh, consciousness. That's right. Okay, I'm over the map. Bonka wonka. Then on Monday, we are tested. The moon moves into Aquarius. So part of the test is, thanks to the universe, the moon highlights for Pisces old fears, old karma, old trauma. You might have had a weird dream, make you wake up weird all day. That's the universe kind of energetically shaking you at the roots or shaking you at the karma. But whatever that is, it's a distraction and a test of your ability to maintain those trust, intimacy, master shui boundaries. So it's really time to own what you have learned for the last three uh, three years, and you might be tempted. I mean, this is when the ex will come back and be like, hey, what do you say? It's like, no way, no way, I graduate. Also, the Pluto Libra generation graduates today, so Pluto Librans, everything you've learned since childhood, hold that space as well. And I just want to point out that Saturn has clicked already to two degrees, and so that means now, not is it just maintaining your balance of trust, intimacy, and boundaries, and being your own master of your design, which is what boundaries come down to, what your design, what you will and won't do, but already looking ahead, starting to take responsibility for your beliefs. In fact, your beliefs are either supporting this boundary change or not supporting this boundary change, and that's what you want to pay close attention to. Congratulations, Pluto Librans. Then on Tuesday, we're in the zero degrees. Zero means zero, the no man's land between two states of awareness, and in your case, the state of awareness between trust intimacy and the state of awareness of I believe. And for Pisces, you use Scorpio energy to manage your beliefs. More on that in a second. The moon in Aquarius does mean emotions are way offline. So Pisces are in that private space that we know that they go to, but don't know where that is, that other planet. And you're in and out of consciousness on this day. This isn't a great day to operate heavy machinery for Pisces because you're really off conscious as a part of you steps out of boundaries and a part of you goes down under, you know. But it is the official beginning of the I Believe transit. Uh, and more on that right now. Now, I believe is managed by I protect. In fact, Scorpio is the I protect energy. Scorpios are the guardians of the zodiac. They are the one, first ones to call a liar a liar or a cheat a cheat because they maintain boundary consciousness. As a Pisces is a God service provider, a Scorpio is a guardian. You have Scorpio energy in you. You're, we have all energy in us, and the Scorpio energy in you you use to manage your beliefs. So you are a guardian of your beliefs. What you protect more than anything is your beliefs. A Pisces might sleep with you, but they will disagree to the 10th degree <laughs> when it comes to beliefs. It's so funny. I'll sleep with you, but I disagree. I always thought that was funny about Pisces. But the point is, is that you are going to work on this for the next three years. Saturn in this space means that you'll be upgrading your belief structure. 
The first nine days or in 10 days of this uh, is looking at what your beliefs are. This is raised as a Catholic and then converted. This is uh, belief that there was no chance or a nice guy's finished last. You know, uh, these types of beliefs that we were told and then we're like, wait a second, I don't know. Of course, a belief is an idea that your heart backs up. That's what you believe. If your heart doesn't believe it, it's not true. Even if science is staring you in the face. We've seen those people on TV. It's not. And for manifesting reality, it's not. So beliefs, this moves to knowledge. And at the very tip of this scale is life purpose. Why was I born? What do I believe gives life the most purpose? That's what we will be working on. So on Wednesday, we click into the first degree, one degree. So you are starting to explore your beliefs, especially beliefs that pertain to love or self-love. Really, that's the core of it. Do you love, do your beliefs allow you to love yourself or do your beliefs put you in conflict with loving yourself? That's the core question. So simple, so kindergarten, but so important. Moon still offline and quite private. Planets, nothing really cool to report there. Then on Thursday, sunny and cool, the moon moves into your sign and the moon is the ruling planet, so emotions and passion are it. Synergy energy, that Pisces vibration has definitely happened. It's kind of a disco energy on Thursday, so I think we are feeling it and you are feeling it. Now, this is a day of how do you feel? This is literally a day of how do you feel about your beliefs? And super important um, is the answer, and I'll show you why. This, a conjunction, a dead conjunction on this day between the Sun and Saturn. So what this means is on Thursday you're going to decide because Saturn is there, you're going to be deciding how you feel about your beliefs. Now be careful, you don't want to lie, you don't want to exaggerate, you don't want to go too far because when you decide how you feel about your beliefs on this day you are imprinting yourself with ground zero of your belief learning transit. If you start this transit off with heavy drama you will start this Saturn transit off with heavy drama my advice is be very honest with yourself about your feelings and your beliefs. And if you say, I was, you know, I was raised a Catholic, but I don't feel like a Catholic, that's okay. That's true. I mean, as long as it's true, you're good. But be careful. We are imprinting on that day. Then comes Friday. Now, Friday's a fun day because Jupiter rules the day. The moon's still in your sign. Sunny and super cold. This can be a great night. Pisces, get out. You don't get a great night out very often. This is a great uh, night for you to have fun and enjoy yourself. So I think you'll be feeling great. Jupiter means it's time to explore and now that we've had the imprint and begun the lesson officially, you're starting to explore your beliefs. Maybe exploring the current system you're in, maybe exploring another foreign system that you want to explore. This may also be education, the possibility of education, the possibility of pursuing a travel adventure that would lead to the expansion of your mind. All those count in a belief transit. Uh, the sun is off Saturn and the moon is in Pisces for most of the day, but then moves into Aries at some point. If you're in GA, I will text you and let you know once it's in Aries because from that point on, once it's in Aries, uh, you could go through an emotional breakdown, breakthrough around soul capital or self-esteem. As the moon crosses Uranus in that 24-hour period, there will be that breakdown. So just an alert there. Now, then comes Saturday, which I'm predicting breakdown <laughs> for other reasons. Well, that's why I kind of pre-set it up. It could start early. Showers, chance of sad. That's what I'm putting. Showers, chance of sad. The sad is due to the fact that the moon in Aries and crossing Uranus means that there's an emotional self-esteem breakdown or a breakdown around uh, finance or ab abundance. But that is kind of a distraction. Really, the breakdown has to do with this month's topic, which are beliefs. It's at the end of the day, a belief according to the universe, that let you down. One of the things that comes to a climax on this day is this opposition between Mars and Sagittarius and Jupiter in Gemini. This opposition means that you might get in a literal tug of war between where you're hoping your career goes and your feelings of security or not. And Mars is making you very ambitious about career. So the truth is, is if something career breaks down, if something at home breaks down, the universe is saying a lot of it has to do with belief. Something about your beliefs undermine this, says the planets. And these two do need to be kind of fixed. I'll tell you right now, the career needs to move forward. The security you're going to be learning for some time. Plus, I have to remind you, the moon crosses over Uranus. So in that whole time, there is also a test of your self-esteem and your ability to endure your confidence regardless of the obstacles. Then on over, Overlap Sunday, uh, Mercury rules the day, and so there's going to be breakthrough. You're going to understand where beliefs let you down, where education led you down, where ignorance led you down. And so that understanding helps you to get kind of through. The moon is well in Aries, so you're feeling confident and you're away from the volatile Uranus. And I think uh, you are partly cloudy, but overall fertile. Fertile meaning time to go do something, time to uh, make something. Let's turn you know, any poison that we might have had into some medicine, as the Buddhists say. 
Now, one point with the planets is the uh, Venus uh, is at zero degrees on Sunday and is therefore offline. And since zero means zero, Venus is our ability to give and receive. So you may be just stuck with yourself on Sunday. Yeah, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend won't call, no one wants to hang out, you're feeling super cool and confident. Well, Venus offline means that you are shifting how you give and receive and where you give and receive. And if you did the work of the last three years of drawing the appropriate boundaries, Venus moving there means that you'll begin to see the manifestation and creation from all your hard work. If you didn't, you're going to see problems grow as well. Venus is fertility and it's heading straight for intimacy. So. Uh, Use protection if you're getting kind of wild. All right, Pisces, that's all I have for your seven-day forecast. I will see you in seven more. Don't forget all those office hours. My Unite the Light moved to Sunday, if you didn't know. We now have Carolyn and we have uh, Jenny Watson on Fridays. You can roll back and see those. But come on down. That's free. We're here in our Pisces is Master One Feather. So you can check him out on Wednesdays. Until next week, live love be. Having a hard time with love lasting long enough? Uh, How often is your first date your last date? Have you noticed that your relationships last no more than two days? They say love never lasts, but in your case, it doesn't even start. Your birthday is a secret soul security number. We know everything about you, how you love, how you lust, and how you like to be lusted by. In one video, you'll understand what you're looking for in love and what you offer. Secrets of Birthdays, now available at secretsofbirthdays.com. Oh,